from the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, Travis Meyer. And hey, we can use those coats, but right now there's no snow on the ground across a big chunk of the United States. You have to go up to the northern parts of uh, really North Dakota and uh, northern portion of South Dakota, then Minnesota and also into Michigan, and then also extending across the Appalachians, of course, from the central Rockies on up into the northwest. So it has been pretty impressive here what's been snowing or how much snow has been falling in the northwest right now because this thing kind of basically a pineapple express coming out as near Hawaii and that moisture just shooting on into the mountains. They've had flooding across the areas near Seattle and to the north and to the west. So far this, well, late fall, almost winter, uh, we have had snow come so close to us, other than some light snow for you guys just north and west of Tulsa. There's been most of the heavier snows have been to the north and west, obviously in the mountainous terrains and then to New England states, but a lot of us have missed out so far. So the question is, is it going to snow or is it not? Well, the odds of snow historically are not that great around here. Obviously, it's about 5 to 7 percent near Tulsa. And so you further north you go, obviously it's colder and therefore the higher the chances of snow. The New England states has a high probability along with the northern and northeastern parts of the area and Great Lakes area. And of course, the mountainous terrain, you would expect that. Our Christmas snows, we've been really limited over the course of the last several years, really the last decade. Uh, we're looking at 2022, just uh, last year we had trace, and so it was just a little bit of dusting in there, sitting there. Also in 2012 and in 2010, and then you see 2009. So these are all clustered together. I mean, there's been long strips right now where we haven't had a whole lot. This was a pretty impressive storm, though, in 2009, because that ended up being a blizzard. It had 6 to 10 inches of snow across the area, gusty winds. It was pretty nasty, but most of the snow fell on Christmas Eve, and then we had a little less than a half inch on Christmas day. But today, all is quiet. We're waiting to see what's going to happen. We're watching to the north for really, really cold air. So far, that's not really, really cold air. And we really need that to kind of guarantee some snow around here. So things are not looking too impressive in terms of snow chances. So very mild weather for this time of year anyway. I mean, it's supposed to be cold. We'll be around 50 or so for a normal high. But what we're looking at right now is the fact that there's a chance of a storm system coming in as we get into later this week. Heavy snows across western parts of our area. And I say western parts of our area, meaning Oakland. Oklahoma and also into uh, Texas. But as far as we're concerned, once that storm comes here, it's diving southeast a little bit more. So we don't have a whole lot of snow or I should say rain available to us. Any snow that does fall is going to be in the northwest and that's about it. And then by the time we get into Wednesday of next week, right before Christmas, it's kind of quiet. There is a storm system out west, so we do have one more storm system that will be trying to come in, and we'll see if it ends up doing anything impressive. But at this time, doesn't look like it's going to be too impressive, but some new data did say that right around Christmas, we do have a colder shot coming in for the week between Christmas and New Year's. So we'll see if that plays out it's close enough and what happens there. Otherwise, we're pretty much near normal, which doesn't bode well for snow. Gorgeous look outside, though, with Christmas lights here at Guthrie Green. 43 degrees right now. 51% humidity. It was a gorgeous day. The winds are light tonight. It's chilly and by morning we're frosty. Upper 20s to low 30s here in northeast Oklahoma. Similar story out west. More clouds by tomorrow afternoon. Still manage mid to some upper 50s, 60 down around McAllister. And by the time we're into Wednesday, some much needed rain out to the west of us. And then you can see as well, we're still in the 50s here, even with some clouds, a few breaks and sun here and there. On Thursday, we'll have temperatures again in the mid to upper 50s. And that's just because uh, kind of a little bit cooler, drier air coming in, but at least a little bit of sun out west, clouds and rain, and then some snow in the panhandles. But this amount of rain is going to be pretty impressive before it's all said and done. Friday, that starts to make a move in our direction. We'll be in the 40s to around 50 west. And then here, rain chances will just start to pick up during the day in the middle of the afternoon into Friday night. Notice the amounts of rain out west. This is an amazing thing for the folks out west in the panhandle. They've missed out on so much rain. Now, we've got to find a way to get some up here around Coffeeville and just around Bartlesville. That isn't happening as of yet. Our rain chances have changed a little bit. Uh, we are looking for our best chances of rain showing up as we work our way on into Friday night. And so we will, we are upping our chances of rain. Tomorrow morning though, frosty, chilly. Temperatures will be in the upper 20s, low 30s across the area. About 52 by the time we get to noontime. And again, clouds will be on the increase with a light southeast wind. And by afternoon, we're up to 58 and it'll be mostly cloudy, but still pretty impressive for this time of year. And if that's not good enough, we still have several days of nice weather. Notice how nice it is, but we have increased chance of showers for late Friday afternoon, especially Friday night. That's up a little bit and could linger into Saturday before it starts to end. And then next week, still no nasty cold Arctic air. That is pretty impressive. All right, that's a look at your nine-day planner. We'll be coming right back with sports.